this is free to start with, then it's X, then it's, and it creeps up. And then you'll get them to the point where you can, act, if you were going to charge 1500 a month, you could probably get them to two instead. So you can actually set the 100% higher. I oh, know, I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that. That is proper guru sales bastard, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I watched a video last week because my wife is st starting her own company and there was a, a video from Alex Ormosi. So I know it's like a guru stuff and things like that, but it was like finding your first clients and he made sense in the kind of the process where you do pro bono for your first clients for a time, then you do 80% off, then 60% off all the way to zero and then you start to charge even more than what you thought you would charge because your demand is limited and i know the guy is controversial but the funnel at least the process what made sense so for someone who is starting or doesn't have this kind of testimonial and stuff might make sense no i like that to be fair i like um yeah, I like the ratchet sort of, this is free to start with, then it's X, then it's, and it creeps up. And then you'll get them to the point where you can, act, if you were going to charge 1500 a month, you could probably get them to two instead. So you can actually set the 100% higher. I oh, know, I quite like that. Yeah. Uh, that. That is proper guru sales bastard, isn't it? Isn't <laughs> um, which, yeah, it seems, again, yeah. This, is my, this is my problem. But at least it's practical. It is very yeah. practical, but that's my that's my issue with him. It's like it feels it feels a bit dishonest, doesn't it? Uh, but hey, it if it makes money and you if you get the results and you deliver, then it's not stealing money; it's earning down fair money. So and, and what value, it's what normal to get some of the value. But but also the you know there's always this question, isn't it? What is fair value for what we do? Because some people charge percentage of ad yeah. spend, this, that, and the other. So actually, there is no, yeah. there's no um, de facto no standard. You have to get some of it. Yeah. Yeah. What well, would no, you I charge on an ad spend of ten grand? Me. Yeah. For anyone. Depends. Like what? What are we? what are they going to get out of it? Like if, if that 10 grand turns into 2 million quid, I'm going to charge them 15 grand a month. You know, if, it, <laughs> if that, that 10 grand turns into 50, then we'll probably charge them a couple of grand. Um, hmm. Have we got any 10 grand clients? Yes, we have. We've got a small e-com that does 10 to 15. Uh, what do they do? They do about seven, six and a half, seven times ROAS, and we bill them two and a half hmm. for a 10 grand spend. So we're probably undercharging because they make 50, 60 on average a month from their ad spend. Yeah. Uh, ROAS, ROAS, not uh, their margins are good though. They're like 47% or something stupid. Um, yeah. So yeah, so they're turning 10 into 25 gross profits. Um. Yeah, so it's, it's always that. It's the balancing act. This is why I like performance figures, 5% uh, of ROAS, which they're not on, um, because you don't have to worry too much about this. It's like, oh, we made you more money, we get paid more. We made you less money, we get paid less. I, I kind of like that. It simplifies it. But I know with lead gen, it's so difficult to charge. Mm -hmm.